I ask Heavenly Father, what does this mean? What does this blood moon dream mean? And the interpretation always comes from the Heavenly Father. All interpretation of visions, sightings, and dreams comes from the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh Elohim, Yod Hey Vav Hey, Yahuwah, El Gabor, El Shaddai, El El Yon, the Most High Exalted One, Creator, King of the Universe. So as I was writing notes, I'm still writing notes when I was up at 2.30 this morning, the Heavenly Father Almighty Yahweh is about to do another horrific, humbling event or action upon the earth. The Blood Moon Dream is a warning to people in the United States of America and other nations in the world to repent and turn back to serving, seeking, and obeying the Most High Exalted One, Yahweh Elohim, King and Creator of the Universe. And then the Heavenly Father took me to some Holy Bible Scriptures, which I'm about to read to you. Uh, one of them is in Revelation chapter 19. And we're going to go to verse 13. And I'm reading from the scriptures, Holy Bible. And having been dressed in a robe, dipped in blood, and his name is called the word of yod heh vav -Hey, the word of Yahweh, the word of Yahuwah, the one of the most high, almighty, creator, king of the universe. This is Revelation chapter 19, verse 13, that the Heavenly Father gave me after he gave me this dream of, of the blood moon. And so this is talking about the Messiah, the one who is, was, and is to come, bringing his kingdom upon the earth. And so going back to my notes, the blood moon dream is a sign for the remnant child and servant of the Almighty Yahweh Elohim to continue and increase watching, praying and preparing for his word and his prophecies to become fulfilled. And then the Heavenly Father gave me another verse to look up. It's Acts chapter 2 verse 20. That's Acts chapter 2 verse 20. See, the Heavenly Father sends his dreams and he sends his visions and he sends his messages through his prophets, prophetesses, his ministers, his uh, reverends, rabbi. He sends all these different people who are truly faithfully serving, obeying, and watching and praying and, and preparing and listening and doing the Heavenly Father's holy word. These important, special highly regarded vision, dreams, and sightings so that the Heavenly Father give that person interpretation to send and say and, and share with the nation so that people will have an opportunity and have a, uh, have a chance to repent and turn back to the Heavenly Father while there's still time to do so. So we're going to go to Acts chapter 2 verse 20. And it says here in the same version Bible, the scriptures Bible, and that he sends Yeshua Messiah pre-appointed for you. Now that's in Acts chapter 3 verse 20, but the Heavenly Father wanted me to read that because the Heavenly Father is sending the Messiah. He's sending the Messiah to come to the earth and he's coming to bring his kingdom and his holy angels and messengers and warriors and his remnant is going to be with him so going to Acts chapter 2 verse 20 the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and splendid day of yo hey vav hey this is what one of the meanings of the blood moon dream that Heavenly Father sent to me is that his day, the great and terrible, the great and awesome day of the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, Yod, Evav, -Hey Yahuwah, El Gabor, El Shaddai, El Elyon, Almighty, Most High, Creator, King of the Universe is coming. So 
the darkness coming is already started. The darkness of the Word of God not being spoken, taught, or lived is already starting and it's here and it's going to increase. It's part of the falling away of the faith of the Heavenly Father, the falling away of believing and seeking and serving and loving the Heavenly Father, which will usher in the great and terrible day of the Lord. And the moon into blood, that is another indication of the darkness, of the spiritual darkness is coming to the land where only the few individual handful of people called the remnants, the servants and children of the Almighty Yahweh Elohim, creator of the universe, are going to be faithful to the Heavenly Father. Thank you.